guys welcome back to tutorial race and in this video we are going to create customers table customers table have uh, bill billing related fields as well as shipping related fields as you know in e-commerce you have to fill your billing details as well as shipping details the billing details is generally for uh, you know the card from where you are uh, making the payment and the shipping de details can be same or different for example if you want to purchase for your friend something and send to his place to his address that means your billing billing address will be of your name and shipping address will be of your friend's name that is why there are two types of details here billing details as well as shipping details so let's create this we had already created admin login categories products and this time customers so there are how many fields are there one two three four five six seven eight Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. There are seventeen fields. So the field name will be customers, and there will be seventeen fields. So now let's create it. First will be cust ID. That means customer ID and it will be primary key as well as auto increment. Then the next field will be bill F name, bill L name, bill. F name where care one twenty bill L name where care one twenty then Bill mobile bill address. Bill mobile worker eighteen bill address text because address can be more than 255 characters bill pin code bill city bill code worker 20 bill city We also work at 150 and then bill country, bill country. We also work at 150. Now the shipping details. Ship F name. Ship F name. Worker one twenty. Bill. Ship F name. 
if f name worker twenty mobile ship mobile ship address ship while worker twenty ship address text pin code city and country ship pin code worker it ship pin code city worker 20 Zip country Zip country worker one fifty and finally the email worker. One twenty. This email will be used for the customers to log in and check the order details. And when the customers wants to reorder, then it will be easier to log in through this email and password. So there will be another field called password worker twenty. Okay, so our customer table is ready. Now click on save. Call from ship F. Ship F name. Ship L name actually. Ship L name. Now save it. Okay, so our customer table is also ready. Now. The next table which we need to create is cart. Cart table will hold our cart details temporarily. Okay, so the table name will be cart. Click on our database name. The table name will be cart, and let's check how many fields we require. One, two, three, four, five. Total, we need five fields. So we will put here five. First will be cart underscore ID int and auto increment public, and then QTY that means quantity QTY int. Prod ID, prod ID will store int prod ID, and then sys ID. If you don't understand what the sys ID is, I will explain it. Sys ID. It will store the current session ID. So better let's give it 255. Sys ID, and then finally price. The float. float this one okay on this card table is also ready now click on save and this one is also created we need to create two more tables order it order and order details Again, click on database and then orders 
So how many fields are? One, two, three, four. It requires four field. Oh, that's okay. Order ID. It will be order ID and then auto increment. Order date. Order date. Let's keep it int total amount total amount float and then cust ID cust ID so customer ID will be integer okay so this table is also ready now let's click on save and then one more table we need that is orders detail which will store the details of the orders order details order details this table will have one two three 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 fields only one two three, three fields only order detail id order detail id this will be also auto increment and primary key and then order id order id it will be integer and then order id it will be also integer actually not vector it will be product id Prod id so it will be integer this one also okay so this table is also ready. What more table we need? Extra image. This table will be used to store additional images of a product. So let's click on this. So there will be three fields. No? Extra image, three fields. extra image id extra img id extra img id so it will be image actually table name extra image extra image extra img id and i will be auto increment finally extra img name extra img name so this should be worker bit 250 because image name can be of any name and then Ready. product ID we have to already int yes so now we save it okay guys so our all tables are now ready we will move next to create the admin section of our e-commerce project so stay connected see you in the next video bye bye